This will be the material function showcase kind of thing. You can easily find them by just uh, searching for Luos. And let's start with Easy Rotate, which is very simple. If you have a texture, I'm just going to pick something random there right now. And you put it into the UVs. And you can then rotate by 360 degrees in a very easy way. So if you want to rotate this texture by 90 degrees, let's drop the UV first. Then all you need to do is add a 90 here, and you rotate at 90 degrees, 45, etc, etc. And then let's do the Luo's time sign, which is just the time and the sign is combined. It's nothing really special, but it saves me a lot of time instead of having to make a time and sign over and over again. And obviously it doesn't work like this. Uh, there we go. I need to multiply it a little bit. As you can see, it moves a little. Let's see if it helps. There. And that's basically what the time sign does. It just signs over time. Okay, let's see what else is there. The alpha erosion. Let's multiply another texture with that. Uh, I want a cloud texture. Let's do the cloud mask. Get the right channel for that. Uh, oh wait, the right channel needs to go into the alpha channel there. Let's preview it here. And this needs to be a scalar, but the time sign works for that as well. And it erodes the material. Instead of just fading out, it first picks the darkest spots and fade those out, and all the way to the lightest spots. And this erosion kind of effect really helps with selling some of the effects. It also is really cool for fire. And yeah, just play around with them. Uh, the mass distorter I showed before. But let's do it one more time just for funsies. Let's move the alpha erosion. Get a normal map, norm underscore, and there should be a lot of them available for you. Create a material object out of it, texture object, there we go. And that's the effect you'll get if you combine that with an actual material. So let's do the clouds again. Let's pick another one. And to the UVs there you get the distortion effects I showed you before, which can result in very nice, cool effects. All right, the ribbon trail is very simple. Just make sure that everything's set to translucent or mask, whatever you want. And this goes into the emissive output and is in the opacity output. Let me stop previewing this. And you have a simple ribbon trail already. Okay, the selector is a little bit different. Um, let's say you have four textures. And you plug in one and that one. Second and second input, third and third, of course, and fourth and fourth. Now, if uh, the value that gets puts into the selector is below five, it picks the first texture. If it's below one, it picks the second texture. If it's below 1.5, it picks the third. And if it's below two, the fourth one. And let's see if this actually works. Multiply it by two. And just show it on there. As you can see, it selects between those. And this is kind of a cool randomization feature for particles. That way, you can use one material for four effects and randomize between those. All right. Uh, the texture cropper, I actually have a tutorial for that separately. So I think that's better to keep that tutorial and use that one instead of really explaining that again, because that will take a while. The time sign was explained. The UV distortion panner is almost the same as the mass distortion. Uh, it has a few different effects. In this case, in show you the result. Uh, let's get this one. There, remove the things I don't need anymore. 
get into a UV here. Let me get another cloud texture. Oh. Plug it into that. And preview it here. And this one uh, uses some custom code, so it might not work for uh, your Xbox or PlayStation game. You need to ask your coder to write something that's inside of this. Keep that in mind. And basically, if you use a factor of three, uh, you can actually just select the R, G, or B color with this. So if you want the R, the red channel, you do that. If you want the green channel, you select that here. If you want a blue channel, use that. And you can pick up to two channels at the same time if you want to. You can change the panner, the texture size, etc. etc. And the UV liquidator is like the biggest beast out of this ones, out of the distortions. Again, it uses normal maps. So let's use normals. Um, underscore. Let's pick the first one. There. Get a second normal map. You can use the same one if you want, of course. And there you go. In the texture sample again. You can change the texture of the first normal map, the speed of the first normal map, same with the second. And again, you can decide how the normal map strength will be. So uh, here, that one. It's a lot of distortion. Two obviously is higher, um, but a little bit often goes a long way with small distortion effects, as you can see. Alright, that explains all the material functions that are available. I hope you find them interesting. And that's it. Take care.